Yeah. Yeah. Happy Flag Day. I love it. Look at it. Look at it. It's like a flag. It's actually got 13 stripes, too, I think. There's there's six, and there's seven, seven over here. Thing's huge. I'm huge. Huge on Flag Day. <sighs> I'm excited because, because we're going up and down. No. Because it's Thursday. 5.37, in fact, in 12 seconds, you will hear the Taco Bell bong proclaiming that it's 5.38 p.m. And currently 64 degrees and stormy and thunderstormy and possibly haily and just rainy all day. And in fact, 5.38, 64 degrees. Raining so hard and so uh, steadily, it's very confusing. It was dark in my house this morning before I left. I have to cough now. <coughs> I'm a little choked up about the weather. Terrible. But none of that's important because it's Flag Day. And more importantly, it's the release date of Nidosaur's second CD. Now, if I play some Nidosaur, will this die or will it work? And should I have tried this before talking and potentially wasting? Why is this so shaky today? What's going on? I don't know. So let's see, if I hit this, do things stop working? And can you even hear it? I've proclaimed my love of Nidosaur in the past, but again, it's one of those deals probably that because I know a guy in the band, and because they're local, and because I'm actually seeing them live, I can appreciate them on the level that no one else can. Which means all of you are going, why is he so jacked up about this band? There's really no good reason, but but I do. And I'm going to see him tonight. But not for a while. And I'll probably miss the basketball game in the process, because I have to be there. Oh. I can't hear it at all, right? I can't remember how we're set up here. And I can't bring up my preferences while I do that. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? I love that this is my favorite one of their tracks. And independently, they decided this would be usually the one that they would close their sets with. Because this is the, just the murkiest, heaviest, kind of mm, sloganist. Yeah! And I'm not a metal guy by nature, but... I don't know. I like, I like metal with a sense of humor. And there's... That undercurrent, you wouldn't know it here because there are no lyrics for you to listen to, but a lot of stuff that they touch upon is stuff that was very important when we were all 12 and 13 and pretending we like metal. So anyway, Thursday, I talked a lot about wrestling for some, well, not wrestling, but the process of writing recaps. Something that I guess I don't go into very often because people were very excited and interested and offered their responses. And I will, I still have that page open. It all kind of gave up, well, it all kind of started with something I threw out there, which Lise picked up upon, which I forgot to mention yesterday, but that was what triggered the whole thing. She said, uh, I have 100% given up on live TV. She's over in Oregon, you know. It's about three times as amusing to see other people comment on a wrestling show I'm not watching in real time, though, so I don't worry about it. How sad is it that wrestling is so boring that you can only enjoy it by not watching it and watching the Twitter stream full of other people talking about it? I'll ask that again because it may not make sense. How boring can wrestling be in 2012 when it's more exciting to not watch the program and instead monitor a Twitter feed of people talking about the program? Twitter feed of people who are watching the show. And what happens when those people stop watching the show? There'll be like one guy left, but he'll have like 10 million followers hanging on his every word. And that guy will be me. CRZ. Follow me on Twitter. 
I don't know. I think we're going to reach a tipping point pretty soon. I think three hour raws are just going to start. Maybe not. Maybe some 13 year old kid will pick up the mantle. And we can all say, your generation can have it. Or maybe not. I don't know. I tried watching the Resistance Pro show. I did post it to the board. I haven't gotten through it yet, but I want to. I want to see if it's, well, basically better than ROH. I noticed ROH has started posting their, my earlobe really itches. I noticed ROH has started posting their shows to YouTube. Have they finally given up on that you must log in and come behind our paywall deal? Even if it's free, you must log in to watch our show. If they have, I'll start posting those to the W as well. Problem is, I've kind of given up on ROH. I've got weeks and weeks. I haven't probably watched an episode since Thanksgiving. I know I should. It's just not destination television for me. I don't know. I don't know whether it's the long taping times or whether the talent they've got there just doesn't click with me. How? Why are you not watching ROH? Why don't you tell me? Hashtag not watch ROH. There's one guy that watches ROH, and he's the, the guy from Germany who posts to my board. Tyler. Tyler, you're probably not watching these videos, so I can talk about you behind your back, in front of your back. This song has no words, but if it had words, they would be like this, and they'd be all spontaneous. Mm, this song has no words. Where am I at? Seven minutes? Wow. Time flies, doesn't it? So I only addressed one comment. I'm stacking up on the comments, and I need to catch up. Otherwise, you'll stop leaving them, because you'll know I don't respond to them. Doug says, I've watched every episode, meaning every episode of uh, this YouTube thing. I'm not sure. Are you still talking about Canadian junk food? Yes and no. I'm not right now. I have one more thing left I have to eat in front of you. I keep meaning to buy some American Smarties so I can do the comparison. So I haven't opened these. I did open the Coffee Crisp, though. In fact, I wouldn't mind having one of those right now. What would I do with the Stanley Cup if I could have it for a day? Take a lot of pictures and post them on Twitter, probably. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not as big on hockey as some of you guys, though. So other than get my picture taken with it, which I believe there are always opportunities. Uh-oh, my song's over. I don't know. I want my picture taken with it. Sometime before I die, that'll happen. I will see it. And I can't remember if those people who get their picture taken with it, if they're allowed to touch it or not. Probably not, now that it's all white glove and that nonsense, right? But yeah, I'd really just like to look at it and look at names on it and get some photos taken with it. What a boring answer. Thanks for asking, though. Greg uh, doesn't watch wrestling anymore. But his kids do, 12 and 14. They tell him everything he needs to know. And he still reads... Uh, he's still the last man going to OOWrestling.com and reading the on on Onslaught recap by Pyro Falcon. Good for you. Keep the faith. When's the state fair? It's in August. The problem is I will take a week or two off, so even though I'll be at the State Fair, there won't be any videos. But uh, you seem to want me to tape something, so maybe I'll do a tout. That's about all I can do with my phone right now. I went over the limit on Kick a million years ago and they finally figured out I was circumventing their limit, so I can't leave Kick videos. So I can only do tout, which is 15 seconds at a time, which is probably enough. But So keep an eye on tout in late August. The 10 days leading up to Labor Day is when the Minnesota State Fair is. I wonder what just fell off my desk. I don't know. Big G. Do we know what blue steak is? I don't, but people in the restaurant business might. We usually call it, call it bloody, even though it isn't blood. As Lise would say, it's delicious meat juice. I usually say rare as, and then people won't know what that means, but like rare as it gets is what I end up having to say. But, yes, become a big fan of rare meat uh, after going to restaurants that serve meat so good you can eat it rare because it's just so easy to cut and eat. Mm -hmm. Man, I can go for a steak right now, in fact. 
White Bacon, just watched Tuesday's show. <laughs> We're calling it a show now, are we? Uh-oh, I'm over 10 minutes. Extended show. Raw indeed starts at 5 out here. Now, see, I think you're out of dish. If you're on cable, especially because Fresno is a major metropolitan area, surely they would have USA West. I have USA's HD feed on Uverse, and thankfully it's the East Coast feed. Uverse, uh, that's, uh, what, AT&T, right? I used to be in California. I never had access to that, though. My brother says, I never read your recaps for the wrestling. I mean, I read the wrestling, but I tended to skip large blocks of text to find the good parts. I'm sure you're not alone. Doug says, I used to print out your recaps and then leave them on the train for either the next rider or the janitor. I wonder how that went. I wonder if anyone ever was introduced to me that way. Or if they were able to figure out how to read other recaps if they liked the one that you had left. Recaps allow me to quit watching wrestling altogether, and for that I thank you. Wow, that wasn't the point, Doug. Need the extra time of the day. I know the feeling. I wish days were about 29 hours, just so I could spend that extra five hours uh, sleeping. Because I seem to do like a 17 or 18 on, and then I wish 8, 9, or 10 off, but I can't. Because that doesn't add up to 24. Do it in your hand. Greg also printed out the recaps and read them at lunch or at home. Printers, paper. This is the paperless era, you dudes. I agree that the detailed recaps you provided would only work for fuddy daddies. I think that's the term you used. I think I said old people, like Doug and Eve in the present day. Yeah, you guys are older than me, so. Thanks for sharing my process for back in the two show days. I had wondered how you found the time to do such detailed recaps on five hours of television. Boy, I hope that didn't linger with you for... How long did I do that? 13 years. But if it did, well, at least it's a weight off your chest now. Uh, should I keep going? Why not? I'm near the end. Frosty Freeze says, I have not watched the video in question. That would be this show from Tuesday. But he wanted to time in on raw California start times anyways. Uh, Alan has Dish Network, HD, and he gets the East Coast feed for every channel. Does so, that I mean you get both feeds for every channel? That would be convenient. Most cable networks replay all their first run shows over and over all day long anyway, so a show will usually air three hours before they say it will, at the time they say it will, and usually a couple more times in the middle of the night. Maybe that only happens on the few channels we watch. I know what you mean, and yes, it's only a few channels, but that's just because they have such a small amount of programming that it's easy to just repeat at all hours of the day. I think as more things become on demand, that'll happen less. They'll just shunt you to the on demand channel. One thing I missed, though, uh, ID did a movie uh, called The Woman Who Wasn't There about some woman who faked being living through 9-11. And I put it on the DVR, and then the DVR ate it, and now I can't get it on demand. And that was the thing they you would have thought that they would have rerun over and over and over, but no. It's not on for, I don't know. I don't know when I'll see it, if I'll ever see it. I bring that up because the Dream Team documentary was on last night, and I slept through it, but I got it on the DVR. But even if I didn't, that's something NBA TV is going to run until the end of time. But I hear it's pretty good. But I'll bet after the first five or six times you see it, it's not so good. 13 minutes. Oh, God. Let's wrap it up. There's a lot more about Alan's uh, TV viewing habits. You can see them on the W if you're so inclined. I don't know. Raw at five now just seems weird. I kind of count myself lucky that I moved to the eastern half of the world or of the country so that I can see this stuff live because if I had to do what I did in California today in California it wouldn't work so boy I lucked out there yeah I miss California a little bit though Just a little bit. finally at least one more time I only read recaps of the events between matches and skim the matches it's like watching porn for the plot oh, what a wonderful comparison thank you so much it's like watching porn for the plot and then complaining about the writing. But I stopped being able to enjoy any part of wrestling as the true costs of cumulative head trauma have become apparent. On that downer, and because it's 14 and a half minutes, I don't feel like testing the 15 minute limit even though they say I can go over it. I'm going to thank you for watching today. Nightosaur report tomorrow as we close up the week and I will talk about how I had to come in extra early even though I stayed up extra late tonight due to work that I can't go into today, but can tomorrow. Let that be your teaser. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.